Thank you for joining me at 2QBeads.com. We're going to be creating the Easy Elegance Bracelet Kit today. You're going to need your crimpers, either needle nose or bent nose, and a set of nippers. Everything else is supplied to you in your kit. So we're going to start out with our beading line. And we're going to add one end of our toggle clasp. Bring both our wires together. Now we're going to add our crimp tube. Pull everything down. And with our crimper, it's the second hole first. Just like this, we crimp. It looks like a hot dog bun when we do it. Now we need to go to our first hole and we want to line it up because what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold that together. We fold that together and then I just go up here with the end of my tool and I give it another good push. Tug on my wires, make sure nothing's slipping, nothing is. So that means we're good to start our bracelet. We're going to add our crimp cover. Pinch it together. We're all set to get started. So we're using crystal light chrome and on this I want the crystal side going towards the toggle and I'm stringing both wires through. Now I'm going to separate my wires and I'm going to add a two millimeter sterling silver bead on each one. fall down. Now we're going to add a crystal chrome on each one of our wires. This is a four millimeter bicone, a bridge spacer, going through both holes. Crystal chrome, bridge spacer, crystal chrome. This is how we're started. That's our first pattern. Now we add a two millimeter bead on each wire. And now we take our square bead and 
and this is the beginning of our bracelet. Now we're just going to repeat this going all the way down. Okay, I have all the beads added on, and now I'm ready to close. And it's just the opposite of what I did at the beginning. So I'm going to take my two wires back through my one six millimeter bead. I'm going to add a crimp tube. Both my wires through it. Going to make sure everything looks good. I'm going to measure. It's going to fit. Now on this end of the clasp you have closed rings. You have four of them. I cut two off because I only need a seven inch bracelet. So I'm going to take both my wires back through my last chain. Both my wires back through my crimp tube and my six millimeter bicone. I'm going to check the sizing again. And for me, it's good. But if you needed a larger size, what you would do is you would take this end so if you needed a 7, you would close right now, crimp, and cover. But I'm going to show you how we make it larger if we need to. So we leave our crimp here, a bicone here. We add another bicone. The opposite end of our clasp. This time we're going to come through our bicone. Through our crimp tube. Do our second bicone. And we're going to crimp in between these two. Second hole first. Again, we're going to pinch it together and with the end. We're going to pinch it together tighter. Make sure it's secure. We are going to nip off these wires. 
we are going to move everything down. To the opposite end because we needed to make it larger. We're going to cut our wires off here. Nip it off here. And your kit will have, because we're providing you with extra beads, your kit will have extra crimps and crimp covers in it. It's going to have two extra six millimeters and two extra four millimeters. So our brace is going to look a little bit different because I'm showing you sizing. So should I not need to use my two six millimeters, say I just need it a little bit larger. Then I would do this. And a four millimeter. And then add the other end of my toggle. So that's how we do the sizing. Again, back through your six millimeter bicone, your crimp tube, your two wires are here now, pull them down. Now I use my, you can use bent nose, chain nose, whichever you have, pull your wires tightly. Crimper. Second hole first. Looks like a hot dog bun. We're going to fold that hot dog bun together. We're going to use the very end. Press it again to make sure it's good and tight. Flip your bracelet, pull your wires away from you. Cut off your extra wire. All we have to do now is cover our crimp tubes. And I try to use my crimper tool. Get my crimp cover right in place so it closes up nicely and hide that crimp. Same way on the other end. It always looks more finished when you use crimp covers. And there is the Easy Elegance bracelet. And this one is actually going to be a seven and three quarters because we added both six millimeter um, bicones. So again, if you need it a seven, you end it with the six millimeter one. If you needed a seven and a half, you end it with a six millimeter and a four millimeter. If you need it almost an eight inch bracelet, you add two of the six millimeters on each side. 
Thank you for joining us at 2QBeads.com. <laughs>